Welcome back to another support system tutorial. Today we're discussing custom forms, fields, and lists. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about where they are used in the help desk, as well as how to create them. We'll start by going to Admin Panel, Manage tab, Forms. You have a few different forms available by default to customize, and you can create your own custom forms as well. The Task Details form is associated with tasks. Fields added here can be used during the creation of new tasks. The Company Information form is associated with your company profile. Fields added to this form will be displayed within the Company tab, which is located under Admin Panel, Settings, Company. The Organization Information form is associated with organizations within the user directory. Fields added here are associated with every organization in the Help Desk. The Ticket Details form is associated with every ticket created, regardless of the help topic selected. The contact information form is associated with the user's profile. And lastly, you have custom forms which allow you to create a custom form from scratch to associate with specific help topics, tickets, user profiles, and organizations as needed. To create new fields, you will start by selecting the form you would like to make changes to. Next, you will name the field, then select the field type. Field types include short answer, which is a blank text field allowing users to fill in a response. Long answer, which is also a blank text field allowing for longer responses to be included. Date and time, which is a date picker that allows you to select a date and time from a calendar. Time zone, which allows you to set a time zone. Phone number, a field formatted for a phone number. Checkbox, which is simply a field that allows you to check a box. Choices, which allows you to create up to three choices to select from, including the option of multiple select if needed. For more than three choices, you will create a list instead, which we will get to later. File Upload is a field that allows you to upload attachments separate from the Ticket Details box. Section Break allows you to break the form into different sections. Information Field allows you to add a description or help text to the form. Dynamic Fields allow you to select criteria set in the Help Desk for Priority, Department, and Assignment. Just to note, selecting one of these options does not actually set the ticket's priority, department, or assignment. It is simply a place to select a choice. Then you have custom lists to choose from. Custom lists are a set of choices to select from created by you. You can add as many items to the list as needed and can enable multi-select as well. I'll go through the process of creating and associating lists next. Once you select your field type, you will select Config to set the additional configurations of the field. Depending on the field type, different field setups will be displayed. From the Settings tab, you can disable the field, set the visibility, requirement, and ability to edit for both end users and agents, as well as the ability to enable data integrity, which will make the field required to complete prior to closing a ticket. Lastly, you can name the field's variable. Variables are a way to include data from the field in emails, templates, and canned responses via the name used in this column. And that's all it takes to create custom forms and fields. Now we can dive into lists. To create a custom list, you will go to the List tab. You will first name the list as it will be seen from the field dropdown. Then select Add List. You have the option of including additional fields within each list item to be displayed as properties, such as associating an address or phone number with a location. Next, you will go to the Items tab to start building out the list, or you can import a list by selecting Import Items, which allows you to import items via copy-paste or a CSV file. When adding list items, you will first name the item, then you can go to the Properties tab to add additional details. Once completed, select Add Item. You will repeat this step for each item that you want to be available in the list. Next, you will go back to the form to add the list as a field type. Once your custom form is complete, it's time to associate it with help topics, tickets, or user information. We'll start with help topics by going to the help topics tab. Select a topic, then go to the forms tab, then select the form you would like to add. Once complete, you will see this set of fields available when this topic is selected during new ticket creation. You can associate a form with individual tickets by going to a ticket and then selecting manage forms, then selecting the form you would like to add. To associate a form with the user profile, you will go to their profile, select the More drop-down, then Manage Forms. 
The same goes for organizations. You will select More, then Manage Forms, and add the form you would like to include. And that's everything you need to know when it comes to custom forms, fields, and lists. If you're interested in more information on anything I discussed today, feel free to check out our documentation at docs.supportsystem.com, where we have a written guide on these features available. Or feel free to give us a call. We're happy to assist you in creating everything you're looking to accomplish. Thank you for choosing Support System to continue making happy customers.